today on Smell the Coffee, we have a very interesting show lined up for you. I'm currently at Dina Pama Manufacturing and Supplies, and we're going to go through everything that they do here from the ground floor where they do the manufacturing to the marketing and everything else that you can find here at Dina Pama Manufacturing and Supplies. I'm your host, Glenora Shipura. Connection. It's in the human touch. The feeling of belonging, it inspires us and empowers us, creates clarity from complexity. It starts new conversations, unlocks the power of advice and makes an impact on your life. At Alex Forbes, we pioneer insight to provide you with advice that connects your decisions of today to your impact tomorrow. Smelling the coffee with me right now is the beautiful Selma from Sales and Marketing at Dina Palmer Manufacturing Facility. Good morning and welcome to Smell the Coffee. Good morning, how are you? I'm great, I'm great now that I'm here. You guys have like a big machine here, right? You guys mm -hmm. are doing amazing, amazing work. And I know that you are part of that work uh, and you are part of the Sales and Marketing Department. Can you tell us a little bit about your day-to-day -day here and what you do here? Okay, um, at point of correction, this is Tina Palmer Manufacturing and Supplies. Ah. Yes, and um, what we do is take in orders. Basically, Tina Palmer is one of the uh, leading clothing manufacturing companies in Namibia. So what we do is manufacture clothing products um, and bags as well and hats. So we have been in existence for close to 15 years now. And yeah, basically what we do is we make school uniforms, work wear such as overalls for the likes of Namibia construction, t-shirts can either be for school, ministries, choirs, you name it. Just we try to cater to the different sectors of our communities, mm -hmm. basically. So yeah, we're just a clothing manufacturing company and um, yeah, we have been around for a while now. Yeah, but you guys yeah. are doing big things. I mean, mm -hmm. I saw your facilities. It looks big mm -hmm. uh, um, and the workforce is yeah. also a lot of people um, that are doing the work here. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I must say kudos to you guys if it's just 15 years. I know that you guys started roughly in 2009, yeah. but then officially started in 2010, if I'm correct. Yes. Yes, so it's run about 14 years. Mm -hmm. And look at what you guys have achieved so far. <laughs> yes, no, we have achieved quite a lot. Um, just like any, any other business, we're facing challenges, but we just have to face it head on. And also, obviously, for us now to exist for maybe more than 100 years or so, we still have to embrace what the challenges we are facing and um, the opportunities that lie ahead of us. I would want to say that you guys are the biggest mm -hmm. um, in what you do. But you need to correct me in that. <laughs> are you guys the only one or the biggest? No, we are the biggest, uh, but not the only one because we have other. Um, there's also, interestingly, even the tailors, those are, can be our competition. Hmm. But um, the one of the, let me say, the closer competitors are the likes of August 26, M&M &M Manufacturing hmm. and um, MH, just to mention but a few. Mm. And then now, obviously, the other SMEs that we have quite a lot, but I would say in the textile um, industry or the garment industry, currently we are the ones that are having a, a bigger capacity to take in large amounts or quantities of orders. Would you say that you guys are ready to expand or? that's something in the future or there's no talks for expansion that's in the future because currently we are dealing with what we have now mm. so it's a bit far-fetched at the moment to say we are ready to expand because expansion can mean having a branch in another town and so on but currently we are 
dealing with what we have. Mm. Um, of course, there have been there. There is um, the capacity has increased over the years, but it's safe to say we are just managing where we are right now. I love that. I love that. You you, you don't need to. Well, they say what? Uh, if you take your work yeah. slower, you'll get there much. Um, you get there on time, mm -hmm. and rather than the person who wants to run. Yes. So that that's that's really good. Exactly. What are some of the challenges that you face here? Um, I do get that uh, there's a lot that's happening. Mm -hmm. uh, um, there's deadlines and so forth. So I'm sure there's plenty of challenges, but what are some of them that you guys face and how do you guys um, sort of mitigate them? Um, the challenges that we face mostly is um, it's the delivery. Hmm. Delivering on time due to the capa due to the number of orders that we have, but we are working on planning. We are trying to like plan how as, as to how we're gonna cater to all these clients because most of them have deadlines, most of them have um, events and other you know issues to meet. Um, obviously, when people order, they have reasons as to why hmm. they are ordering those attires. So. I can say most of the time is delivery and um, also challenges from suppliers. So that we now just want to mitigate and see how we can go about that and ensure that the customers are satisfied. Yes, and this, uh, all businesses have challenges, people. Mm -hmm. No matter how successful they are, they yes. all have challenges, Definitely. and it's a continuous thing. So um, the fact that you guys are 15 years, mm -hmm. 14 maybe? Um, 15 years. Yeah, in existence, mm -hmm. and you have achieved so much, that means you are doing something right. What would you say is one of the things that you would want people to take away when they think of Dina Pama manufacturing and supplies? Think of the quality, mm -hmm. definitely. I'm uh, regardless of the other challenges like the delivery and all of that, things that are, can be beyond our control. Investing in quality, quality service, quality products. That's what will really make you um, stand out, and it will also create to the longevity mm -hmm. in the industry. So don't compromise on quality. Mm. Whatever business you are venturing in, provide quality service. Mm. And the products should be of quality to ensure repeat purchases. Yes, because I, w I might come the first time. Mm -hmm. You might get that first sale, but if you don't give me quality, I will not come back again. Quality which brings consistency. Thank you so much, yes. Soma, for <laughs> smelling the coffee with us and telling us a little bit of what you do here. It's a pleasure. At Dinapama Manufacturing and Supplies. Pleasure is all mine. We'll be right back after this. Welcome to Namibia where adventure meets tranquility. With Enjoy, you have access to a wide range of accommodations to suit every traveler's taste and budget. Experience the finest dining and hospitality Namibia has to offer. Booking your dream accommodation is just a few clicks away with Enjoy. Join thousands of happy travelers who have trusted Enjoy for their Namibian getaway. Your gateway to unforgettable Namibian adventures. Visit us today at enjoy.my.na. I'm joined by Lina, the production planner at Dina Pama Manufacturing and Supplies. She's here to also tell us a little bit more about what she does here and also what they do, especially on the ground level. Good morning and welcome to Smell the Coffee. Morning, ma'am. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I was in your manufacturing facility. I totally, totally love that. But there's a lot happening there. How do you guys make sure um, to make 
to, to plan it correctly so that everybody is synchronized with what they need to do because I saw a lot happening but it was also very organized. It's very interesting. We have a lot of different departments mm -hmm. and we have different lines that are doing stitching. Mm -hmm. So you say there's a lot of people, how are we cooperating? Yes. There's supervisors in each line and there's managers that are on top of the supervisors. So every planning that we are giving, we are giving to the supervisor so that they make sure that the supervisor they make sure that the orders are out and stitched and ready to go to clients. Oh. Everything is under the supervision of the supervisors. So there is an order. Yes. So it, I was correct to see that. And I love that. So there's different departments down there. Yes. Could we quickly go through some of them? I know that there was stitchers. There was the guys that I think were putting on the buttons. I don't know. You need to correct me because I, I don't know anything about this industry. Okay. <laughs> okay. We have uh, department by department. Our first department whereby our orders are starting, we have design and cutting. So first we have to design. We have to make sure that the order that is in, it have samples and then it have patterns mm -hmm. before it go for cutting. So when we design, we have to make sure that we send the orders to store. That's programming and logistics mm -hmm. to verify the material, accessory and everything that is needed to complete the order. Once we are done with store and procurement, we have cutting. Cutting mm -hmm. is also together with design. So cutting, you have to make sure that they cut what is ordered. The quantity ordered versus the quantity stitched. Uh, no, the quantity ordered versus the quantity cut. So that's where it's going to stitching. Sure. It's so we're at complicated. Number four. Yeah, we're just at number four. Yes, we're yes. at number four. So in stitching, there's a lot of subdivisions. Mm -hmm. It's where you sew button hole. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's stitching ones, especially golfers. Also, tracksuits and shirts, some that have uh, buttons, they have to go to the button hole. But before the button hole, there's a subdivision called quality control. The quality control have to make sure that the items stitched are of quality. So after quality control, and then the button hole. Button hole, and then if it have embroidery, it have to go to embroidery. That's a different department again. Yes, I think I saw embroidery as yes, well, yes. where all they do is just embroid and embroid. then somebody else can yeah. picks it up. Yes, wow. yes, that's embroidery. And then once they are done with embroidery, then they send it to the final department, which is trimming and packing. Mm -hmm. In trimming and packing, what they normally do is cutting off threads, and then once it's ready, it goes to ironing mm -hmm. to get red also to be packed. That's mm -hmm. our final department before it goes to the client. That's like how many? Like run about, about six, seven, eight. Seven, eight. Wow. And the fact that you're managing this and it's a cohesive unit, that's what I saw downstairs. So kudos to you. What would you say is one of your um, key things that you do to make sure that you have an efficient um, workflow? Okay, what I have to make sure that I have is to make sure that they have an order. That order is fully ordered so we have to make sure that it's fully prepared we have to make sure that the accessory is there it's fully cut we cannot uh, cut it partially if it's have track shoot 50 track shoot 50 golf t-shirt we have to make sure that the whole hundred is cut 50 50 and then we have to put it in planning to stitch we have to make sure that we have enough people that are capable and willing to finish the 50 50 on time i see I see. So that's why you guys have the good reputation that you guys have yes. because of proper planning. Yes, we want to give that reputation. <laughs> Thank you so much for smelling the coffee with us and taking us a little bit behind the scenes of what you do here. Thank you so much also to meet you. All right, we'll be right back with more Small the Coffee. I'm joined by the beautiful Tio Polina from HR at Dina Palma Manufacturing and Supplies. And of course, she's going to be smelling the coffee with us. Good morning and welcome to Smell the Coffee. Thank you. You're welcome. Can you tell us how long you have been here at Dina Palma? Um, I started in Dina Palma in 2010. Uh, when I started, I was just an administrator. 
and then from 2013, that's when I became HR manager. Wow, so you have grown in the company. How yes. has that been for you? Uh, it was great. I have learned a lot. Mm. I have learned a lot. Um, uh, I did uh, business administration, but then now I know a lot about HR. How is, uh, how, can you speak to the general teamwork here? How do you feel um, it fits into the vision of what Dina Palma Manufacturing and Supplies are trying to do? Yeah, the team is fitting well. The, the, we understood the, the assignment. Yeah, you know, when the boss said do this, and uh, when he's telling us about the vision, then we follow and we now we understand what um, the MD is uh, visioning about this company. We are also part of the vision. I really love what I saw um, when we were in your um, manufacturing facility, the teamwork that we saw and also how it's a lot of people but there was so much order and, and that can also just speak to a good work culture and also a good HR department. So whatever you guys are doing, you guys are doing it correctly. What would you say is one of the things that um, you say makes your team here very strong? Okay, um, in Dinapama we have a human resource policy which we use mm -hmm. and that is the reason the employees are working in a good team. So if you are not following the policy, then you are out. You are not part of the of, mm -hmm. of, of, of Dinapama. So all of those who are in Dinapama, they are they are part of Dinapama because they are following the human policy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your day to day here? Like you get here, what's the first thing you do? Just in case some people are wondering, what does an HR person do um, day to day? Okay, the first thing when I get in the office, I open my computer, then I go in the factory. We used to have, uh, we are not we use, but we are always having a devotion in the morning. We pray before we start our job. Everybody get a chance to pray. Every day we have each two person, two people per, per day. So we pray, we, 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 we report on what we did the previous day. Hmm so that we motivate ourselves that we need to if we do not push the previous day we need to push harder today so that we reach our target that is what we do every day wow. before you start your job you do we do a prayer then we do a report for what we did the previous day impressive impressive and i guess that's why you guys are where you are at after 15 years what would you say is the vision? Where are you guys going um, in the future? Where, where do you see Dina Palma manufacturing and supplies? Okay, the vision is to employ more people. It, for now, we are standing at 534. We have 534 employees, wow. and we want to employ more people. We want Dina Palma to be El. Uh, we have this slogan which says, why others follow, we lead. We uh -huh. want Dina Palma to lead this industry we want Dinapama to be on top because Dinapama is very unique we do unique things we do whatever design you come up with we'll do that we we don't we don't limit we don't have a limit we do whatever you want us to do and also earlier on we we also had the pleasure to to speak to the the production planner and you guys also value quality over anything else yes that is our 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 um, mission i love that, that. i totally totally love that now you guys have been in existence for 15 years and you guys are doing big things as we can see can you tell us some of the challenges that the company faced over the course of these 15 years and how you guys overcame them Okay, uh, the challenges are always there. Sometimes, like, to get the, the material you want. So you have to go through that. You have to order the material from overseas, and sometimes it takes long to arrive. Those are most of the challenges. But otherwise, other than that, we are, we are good. 
So maybe one day we can also start manufacturing, you know, the, the fabric ourselves. <laughs> yeah, maybe in future, maybe in future. Yes, maybe I'm actually really looking forward to that because you guys have tremendous potential to expand in that market. Um, and of course, still service what you guys are servicing right now. So like I said, what I saw, I was very impressed and so is the team from Smell the Coffee. Is there anything you would like the viewers to know about Dina Palmer Manufacturing and Supplies? Because I don't feel like a lot of people know of you guys or they should know of you guys to the extent that you guys are at. Okay, what I'm, I can tell the viewers, uh, they might just come and visit Dina Palmer. We are in Northern Industry near NBC TV. That is where we are situated. Whatever you want, whatever you want us to do, just come over. We will do it for you. We will give you a service which you want. Okay, we now, are ready. Before I let you go, because some people would think that this is large scale only. You know, if I have to design, let's say, dresses for school uniform, whatever, that's where I come. But let's say if I have a design, a nice unique design, am I allowed to come here or is it just for large-scale orders okay uh, mostly we do in bulk mm -hmm. mostly we do in bulk but here and there we do small things uh -huh. yeah because we also want to learn yes. we also want to learn other things how to do because we don't know what future holds for us we might have a, a small branch yeah. to make those small small things and yeah that's why sometimes we we put those small and other things yes. to be part of the, yes. to be part of the, I, the production. I'm, I'm coming here for my dress, guys. So don't act welcome. brand new when I you come are here. Welcome. <laughs> just come, just come. We are welcome. Thank you so much. Welcome. We'll be right back with more Smell the Coffee. We are all seeking connection to each other, to the world, to the spaces we exist in. Seems like poor sportsmanship right now from the lad. 1.85 for the national record. He has another chance, and it is a goal from Vindo Kahan. Of my side, via is it on your track? And I ball it, my throw the pad. Via I throw the pad, and as he. Running that mountain up. Running that mountain up. So we will be doing this. More at slightly at So is your trolley right? I love that. I love that. So then we kickstart our countdown at number five. With this one. Op Network TV's Klits Kompas Nis van Amanda tot Donara. Let's kijk ook naar die weer in meer. Stories what you rock and stories what suck mark. They've made a mistake in denying me bail and they've made several other mistakes in many other cases. The channels that teach us something new or reflect our expression. So it goes beyond switching to the right station. It's about choosing the experience that can adorn the present, dressing it with our tastes as we expand our preferences because what we are actually connecting to is boundless, limitless human energy. And this is the spirit of NTV. It doesn't smell the coffee if we are not highlighting some of the best and unique businesses in the country. And on that note, as much as I hate to say goodbye, I must say goodbye from me, Glenora Shipura. Until next time.